Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm excited to show you the new and amazing features of Filmora 14 today. Let's jump right in and get started. So here we are with the interface of Filmora 14. At first glance, it looks quite similar to the previous version. You'll notice some minor changes in the icons and a new window showcasing the latest features. Apart from that, familiar tools like Filmora Cloud, Creator Hub, and the toolbox on the side panel remain, just as they were in Filmora 13. First up, we have the Magnetic Layer and Layer Link options. These can be found on the timeline. When the Magnetic Layer option is turned off, you can move your video layers freely and even leave gaps between them. But when it's turned on, those gaps automatically close, snapping the clips together. This is really handy for quick and efficient edits. Let's say you have a few clips on the timeline, and with Magnetic Layer turned on, they all snap together perfectly, saving you time from manually aligning them. When the Layer Link feature is turned off, if you want to move multiple layers of video, text, or effects that are stacked on top of each other, you must select all of them. However, when this feature is turned on, there is no need to select all of them. Simply selecting one of them will move all the related filters and text along with it. Let's talk about the Filmora new Copilot feature. It was introduced in Filmora 13, but now it's even more integrated into the editing timeline you can access it from the toolbar. The updated interface looks more advanced, offering options like adding resources, adjusting audio, and formatting your project. Let's walk through an example. I want to add a zoom transition between these two clips. I select Add Resource, then we can see it adds a simple text prompt in the text box like this. So here I'm going to add a zoom transition between these clips, so I change this prompt like this. For the first box, I add the transition what I need, I type Warp Zoom 6 Transition. Then for the second box, I add where it needs to be placed, I changed it to Between. And I keep the last one as a default. Okay, after you type your prompt, you need to select the layers. You want to add the transition, so I select these layers, and here it shows how many layers you selected. Also, if I select all these layers, it shows how many texts and effects layers I selected. Okay, after selecting the layer, click this Send button, so you can see Filmora applies the exact transition. And also if we click this to expand the info, you can choose a different zoom transition from the list. It's that simple. Now let's explore the AI sound effects feature in the audio section. This tool lets you generate sound effects by typing in what you need. You can also adjust the duration and number of sound effects before hitting the Generate button. For example, if you need a thunder sound for a scene transition, just type in thunder, set the length, and Filmora will generate the perfect sound effect for you. It's quick, easy, and super helpful for customizing your audio. Let's see what has been created. Next up is the new AI Face Mosaic feature. Previously, you could only apply a mosaic effect to one face. But now in Filmora 14, you can blur multiple faces with a single effect. To use this, go to the Effects tab, select Body Effects, and choose the Face Mosaic option. For example, I had a video where I wanted to blur the faces of several people. I applied the classic mosaic effect, and within a few seconds, it blurred all the faces automatically. You can adjust how strong the blur is, which faces to cover, and even invert the effect if you need to. This is especially great for ensuring privacy in your edits. Another cool feature is the AI color palette. It's quite similar to the color match option from earlier versions, but the key difference is that now you can upload both images and videos to match colors. For example, I uploaded a still image and matched its color tones to a video clip, and it worked seamlessly. While it's not entirely new, it definitely makes color grading more flexible.
The AI Video Enhancer is another fantastic addition. If you're working with low quality footage, this tool helps you improve the overall quality. All you have to do is enable the feature, click the Generate button, and wait for the process to finish. For instance, I had some low resolution footage, and after running it through the AI Video Enhancer, the video looked noticeably better. It's a useful tool for quick fixes. On the audio side, the AI Voice Enhancer is a game changer. It works by removing background noise and enhancing voice clarity. For example, I had a video clip with lots of car noise in the background. After enabling the AI Voice Enhancer, the noise was completely removed, leaving my voice much clearer. This feature is excellent for improving audio quality in noisy environments. The next feature I want to highlight is the AI Video Denoise. Take a look at this video, you can see some noise in it. You just need to go to AI Tools and turn on the Video Denoise feature. As you can see, the image becomes much smoother and of higher quality. The interesting part is that it has the ability to adjust the denoise level, allowing you to set the amount as you prefer. One of my favorite features is the Curve Path Animation Tool. This lets you create smoother and more natural animations. For instance, I added a keyframe to a circle shape, enabled the Curve Path option, and then dragged the path to create a smooth curve. The animation followed the curve perfectly, creating a really professional look. You can even switch between a linear and curved path to get exactly the effect you want. For example, I right-clicked on a point, chose Curve, and it instantly smoothed the animation. It's a great tool for adding precision to your animations. Another standout feature is planar tracking. This makes tracking objects in your video much easier. For example, I wanted to place a screen recording on a laptop screen. I selected the planar tracking mode, placed the tracking box over the laptop screen, and let the software do the rest. It tracked the screen accurately, and I could easily attach the screen recording to it. This is a very useful feature for editing complex scenes. Filmora 14 also introduces a smart background music generator. Let's say you want to add background music that perfectly matches the mood of your video. Just open the Smart BGM generator, and it will analyze your video and create a background music track that fits the pace and tone. All right, our music is ready. Let's go see what we've created. I tested it on a short video, and the background music synced perfectly with the video's rhythm. So, those are the standout features in Filmora 14. Some features, like the AI color palette and multicam, are similar to what we've seen before, but overall, this version brings some really exciting new tools. Be sure to give Filmora 14 a try, and let me know what you think in the comments. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Until the next video, bye-bye.